Some people have it. You know you want it. Now, get ready to hear how to get it. Real success. Brought to you by Successful Image. With your host, Laura Townsend. And the coach, Jim Jones. Good afternoon. Some people got it, you want it, and we're going to show you how to get it. Thanks for joining Real Success, brought to you by Successful Image with the partners of Successful Image. Your host, Laura Townsend, and the coach, Jim Jones. Real Success Radio is a part of our company, Successful Image, and we focus on personal and professional development, and that is what we're bringing to you today. Our success story today is Mark Wilkes, also known as Omega Man. Are you ready for Omega Man? Omega Man is a world-class superhero who performs the world's greatest exhibitions of power, strength, speed, inspiration, and motivation. He's performed in over 6,000 schools and is considered the number one school assembly performance in the nation. Omega Man is a man who stands 6 foot 1, weighs 260 pounds. He can bend steel with his teeth, rip a 2,000-page phone book in half with his bare hands, and he can break a baseball bat over his leg and he is here with us today are you ready to meet omega man i want you to put your hands together and welcome the one the only omega man Wow, hey, that was good, Coach. Huh? Okay, I got good. the job. I think you got the job. Right. Follow me around. I watched a lot of WWF when I was a kid. <laughs> that is your intro, isn't like it, Mark? It. When like you take it. the stage. That's how you come out. I think so. I like it. Very Pumps good. Me up. <laughs> it pumps me up. <laughs> Welcome. I'm out real, of breath. <laughs> Welcome to Real Success. Well, it's, I'm excited to be here today uh, talking about our youth of America. Absolutely. We have an amazing story for you today. We have Mark Wilkes with Omega Man, a world-class athlete who is making a difference every day one child at a time. You know, let's get right into it, Mark. You've dedicated your life to helping young people make positive choices in their lives. I mean, how serious are the problems that our children are facing every day at school and, and in our neighborhoods concerning alcohol, drug abuse, and, and a real recent topic that's come up, bullying in schools? Yes. Um, well, uh, a, statistic, a statistic that's came out, uh, well, in, two, in 2008, I have 2007 statistics that uh, 2007 was one of the worst school years dealing with the violence, bullying, alcohol, uh, rise, increase, uh, pregnancy in our youth. So there's a major cause, a major um, alert that uh, I think it should uh, all parents should be alert right now. What's going on? And I saw a statistic and talking about bullying because it's been in the news a yes. lot. Uh, a statistic said children K through eight. 77% of that age group has been subject to bullying. Is that that's something that you deal with at all the schools that you go to? Oh, yes. Uh, when, when I go to schools from elementary, middle, high school, uh, the number one topic that principals ask me to say, please talk, 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 please talk on bullying, from physical bullying, from also verbal bullying. And that's a big thing on the power of words. So I have a, a major uh, message in my school assemblies about the po how words affect uh, our lives. Yes. Now, Mark, a little bit about, uh, so we get a, a really good understanding. We're talking about the problems that are in our youth today, not just our school system, most importantly in our school system, but we're talking about kids in general. We're talking about mm -hmm. kids in elementary school, middle school, and high school. And you are on a mission to help these children of all ages make better choices. Why? Why are they... It, is it bad choices they're making? What are some of the things that they're experiencing today? Well, let me say something real fast. I know in, um, in the 1970s, uh, they called the sexual rev revolu uh, re re revolution. In the 1980s, they called the humanism. In the 1990s, they said because of the increase in uh, school violence, increase in, in our school shootings, they call it a generation. This generation that's growing up is a generation that's losing their conscience. And uh, that really disturbed me. That's why I'm the last 11 years have been traveling doing schools because uh, the because of that statistic um, and what's going on with our kids going to these schools, uh, seeing the increase. When I've gone to a school that just last year, a middle school, and seeing posters plastered all around the school of a bomb with a line slashed through it saying anyone caught making a bomb will get five years in prison in a middle school, that you know, something should stir us up as parents, get, get us, you know, what's going on, alert. Uh, Abraham Lincoln said this, Abraham Lincoln said this, that um, our classrooms reflect, will reflect our society. And, uh, and I get letters from kids and, and, and youth and saying, listen, I'm going through, I'm addicted to this, I'm addicted to alcohol, to drugs, 
uh, I'm addicted, uh, I'm, I'm 11 years old, and, and I have a suicide, uh, I'm, I'm tempted with suicide. And uh, that's what keeps me going each and every week, uh, getting a message of hope to these kids. And let's talk about what keeps you going. I mean, how does one man make a difference in a school? Tell, tell everybody when you go out into a school, kind of what do you do, kind of when you get there? What's an what's a average assembly like? Well, I'll go in, and uh, Omega Man, you're saying, what is Omega Man? Well, uh, I go in, and, and I, it's a, a very unusual school assembly. It's not, uh, if I went in with a suit and tie and I told the kids, hey, don't do drugs, don't drink, don't sleep around, guess what, they'll be drunk, high, and pregnant by the time the weekend's over, but uh, Omega Man, <laughs> I'll oh go in. <laughs> I'll go in and, and I, I get their attention. Um, I, I, I'll break baseball bats, rip phone books, bend steel. Now I don't go in there just to show, hey, this is what I could do. Uh, mantra. No, I don't care anything about that. I realize it's bait. And once you get someone's attention, you get a message of hope in their heart. And uh, you know, when you go fishing, there's a different kind of bait that get to catch different kind of fish. And I'm just a bait that gets the, the youth, their attention. We live in a time where we're drawn by illustrations. We're drawn by um, just by Ill, uh, just something that will get, grab our attention. And once you grab, like I said, grab someone's attention, you get a powerful message into their heart. And for Omega Man, I'm challenging them to make change in their life about making right choices in their life. Okay, let, let's create a little bit of a, a visual. You're a nice-looking guy. So the coach brought you in and, and kind of gave your your feature statistics. Mm -hmm. You're six foot one. Now it said you were two sixty, but actually you're about two forty because you're a bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. You're a personal trainer. Yes. You are an advocate for keeping your body clean and healthy, and you've recently given testimonial to actually an anti steroid program, mm -hmm. and you're all natural. So you're going in, looking good, buff, muscles galore, you're ripping phone books in half, you're breaking baseball bats over your knee, you're <laughs> bending steel in your mouth. Now that you think is going to get the attention of our kids? Uh, I, well, yes, I, it is. I do. It is. It <laughs> I is. agree. Because I'm getting stunning. letters, uh, I've gotten emails, I mean, I've gotten even bullets in the mail, uh, razor blades in the mail from students. Um, I have one at home, uh, a razor blade from a, a young man, a teenager, saying, listen, you came to my school. I was about to, I already had it planned out. I was going to kill myself this, this weekend. You talk about suicide, that I have a purpose, I have, I have a destiny. And no matter how my life is right now, there's a better day coming. Uh, you can't, I can't change my past, but I could change my today. And, and there really isn't a trick to rip. I mean, can you teach me the trick of ripping a phone book in half and breaking the baseball bat just so I can impress some people? Yeah, I think I mean, there's a little technique to everything, uh, but when you add a strength to it. Um, but everything, like I said, the feats of strength, all, always have, they all have a message. I don't go up there and say, hey, this is what I can do. No, I use the phone book as a book of negative choices. Hey, who's ever made a bad choice? All the kids. Okay, we talk about the bad choices. Hey, I grab the phone book. Omega Man, today I'm not going to call the, the book a uh, phone book. I'm going to call it the book of negative choices. Omega Man, you're going to see Omega Man rip this phone book because this represents every bad choice, every negative decision that you made in the past because, you know, this represents your past. You can't change yesterday. You can't change uh, a year ago or a couple months ago, but you could change your today, your tomorrow. And what you're looking at today will reflect where you're going in the future. Tell us some of the topics that are the hot buttons in schools today. What are some of the things that you're going into our schools and you're teaching our children? Uh, definitely, well, we talked about bullying. Bullying, negative peer pressure is a huge, huge um, drug prevention, character building, making healthy choices. Like you said, I'm a, I'm a personal trainer. Um, right now, obesity is a big problem in our youth today. Talking about making right choices healthy-wise, academic excellence, self-esteem, believing in themselves, and also violent, violence uh, prevention. And we're, we're going to have to head to a break real quick, but uh, these principals and, and teachers, they actually choose these topics. Is that correct? Yes, or I, a lot of times I'll, I'll hit, on, hit on all of them all within the school assembly. Yes. All right. Thanks for tuning in to Real Success. While we're out on a break, why don't you fire up your laptop, go to omegamanschools.com. You can actually see Buff Mark Wilkes in action on his website. Thanks for tuning in to Real Success WLKF Talk 1430. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Real Success on Talk 1430 WLKF. I'm Laura Townsend with the coach Jim Jones, and we're talking with today's Real Success, Mark Wilkes, also known as Omega Man, the nation's number one school assembly. 
You know, we've learned some things uh, from Mark already. Did you know 11% of students have tried marijuana by the age of 13? 32% of students by the age of 13 have tried alcohol. 